Hi! Did you know that there's Jewish families that never left the land of Israel for the past 2,000 years? Let's go see them. Meet Margalit Zinati. She's 91 years old and lives in the beautiful village of Pki'in in the Galil Mountains. She's the only Jew living in Pki'in amongst Druze, Muslims, and Christians. What's a 90-year-old woman doing there all alone? Her family fled Jerusalem 2,000 years ago after the destruction of the Second Temple and settled here in Pki'in. They built a synagogue almost 2,000 years ago and never left since. Margarita is going to take us to see now the ancient synagogue her family has been in for the past 2,000 years. The synagogue was renovated in the 1800s, but you could still see inscriptions from the 1st and 2nd century on the walls of the synagogue from almost 2,000 years ago, like this menorah commemorating the candles in the temple. Along the years, Israel was conquered by many empires, and more and more Jews were expelled from the land. But here up in the mountains, away from the main cities and the main roads, the Jews were able to survive. And that's the city here of Pekin. Malgari Zinati is the last Jew living in Pekin. Doesn't stop planting, doesn't stop working. Malgari really takes care of this ancient synagogue day in and day out. Malgari Zinati is a link in the chain to the Jewish community that's been living here for almost 2,000 years. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai that ran away from the Romans hid here in a cave. Let's go to his cave that he hid in. This is getting tiring. This is the cave that according to tradition, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai hid in. The Talmud tells us he lived off of a carob tree while hiding. This is an ancient carob tree right outside the cave. He drank water from a spring beneath the cave. And this is the spring today in the center of Pekin. Refreshing. So that was Pekin. We saw how the Jewish people are indigenous to this land and Malgari Tzinati is living proof of that. See you next time in another amazing place in Israel.